Okay, gotta be this fast. All right. So I had this video idea, and I think you'll like it. Be it whether you like the NFL or not, because I'm gonna add some pretty dope ass music to it. So stay tuned. Yeah. Y'all can't handle this. Y'all don't know what's about to happen, baby. Team 10. Los Angeles, Cali boy. But I'm from Ohio, though. White boy. It's every day, bro. With the Disney Well, I know you read the title. Let's just get into this damn thing. All right, starting off with the Chicago Bears. The Bears have had this as their primary logo since 1974. I've seen uglier, but their 1999 through 2016 alternate would be way better as a primary. Of all the Lions logos, this is their best one, so just go ahead and keep it. Green Bay has had the G logo since 1961, but in 1980 they added the yellow outline which makes a tremendously huge difference. I think it looks 10 times better. This logo is racist towards the African American community. They should get rid of the white skin color of the Vikings face and go emoji style with yellow so it doesn't hurt anybody's feelings. No, I'm not a stupid libtard, but for real, it's not the coolest logo. Their current helmet logo should be their primary. Moving on to the NFC East, we'll start it off with the Cowboys. You could just keep your uncreative primary. This is one of the most horrid looking logos in all of sports. That font with a red and blue color combination looks like complete shit. Please change it. Change it to your 1975 primary. It's better than this garbage. There's nothing wrong with the Eagles' current logo, but this alternate would give their primary more flavor. It should be this. No, I'm not a brainwashed dumbass. This logo is not racist. However, it is very, very ugly. Every Redskins logo that has ever existed is ugly. Just change it to your 60s alternate. Wait, I just realized it's even uglier than their current primary. Shit, just change it to your stadium logo. On to the NFC South. Starting off with the Falcons, they can just go ahead and keep their F-shaped dirty bird. The Carolina Panthers are still somewhat a new team. They get a pass. Next. New Orleans' primary logo should be their alternate, and their alternate should be a primary. Although I'm a diehard Chiefs fan, I've always had a soft spot for the Bucks living in Tampa. I think their current primary is great, but this alternate is even better. I think the white and blue looks way better than the old gold and blue. Next. Ah yes, another hideous color combination. This logo looks like a steamy pile of dog shit. San Fran should change it to their 60s and 70s alternate. There's no issue with Seattle's current primary The Ravens' current primary looks like a high school team logo. I think it would be kick-ass if you just changed it to this. Now this way too easy for me. All the boys in the block like Sesame Street. Yeah, Danny Keep your current again. next. Back at it again. Diva on it. No boys allowed. I want it now. Yeah, Not only is Diva Cleveland's Diva football Diva team a joke, no but so is their logo. Literally anything would be better than this pathetic attempt at a professional football logo. Just change it to your 40s, 50s helmet logo. No team has pissed me off so much in a single season than the Steelers. Just keep your logo and move on. Keep next.
Everybody wanna copy what I'm singing. If the Chiefs or Bucks did not exist, I would be a Dolphins fan just because of how sexy their logo looks. If you don't live in New England, you probably want to puke just as much as I do every time you see this logo. Patriots, please embarrass yourselves by making your primary logo your 1960 hat. What a joke. Hold on, cut the music for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ugliest goddamn logo I've ever seen in my life. Please eye bleach me. Despite how horrid their current primary logo is, I think the 70s through 90s logo looks really good. It was designed to look like an airline logo, fits perfectly with the team name being Jets. Please do us all a favor and change your current logo to this one. Maybe it will give your shit team better luck for the 2018 season. Houston is currently the newest team in the NFL. They get a pass. Um, well, even when they were in Baltimore in 1979, they had a horseshoe. Change it to this unused 2001 logo. Hi guys, today I'm going to be singing a uh, Star's Minecraft parody by, by, it's, oh wait, wait, it's not Steve, it's Alex this time, and it's by Gra Harry, I mean Grace Potter and the, uh, I have to sing, I have to sing. I light a fire with the torch and the mind. There isn't anything wrong about their current primary logo, but it would be nice if you spiced it up with this alternate. Just don't get it too confused with the NHL's Florida Panthers logo. Titans? Nah, the Oilers are better. They make me wonder if there's more. And finally, the AFC West. The Broncos. This has been their best logo. The Chiefs, this is pretty much the only Chiefs logo. And the Raiders can go ahead and keep their current while they're still in Oakland. All those times we gazed into the mind, looking And finally. The Los Angeles Chargers. What a great way to end off this video. Here's their current, but this is what they should have. I love this logo, and I think everyone else on planet Earth agrees. I put a lot of effort into this video, so I hope you enjoy. If I get 2.5 likes, I will make a video on the MLB logos. And I will also swat General GTA. Instrumental break. <laughs> Diamonds, ores, gold, butter, iron, coal. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thanks.
guys for watching. Uh...